Why do you live in Tryon, North Carolina? Didn't you grow up in New York City? Yes. How do you make a transition from New York City to Tryon, North Carolina? Well, That's in 1963, after many tours of the South with my grandfather, who was in publishing, and here we are in a bookstore. Yeah. Um, he worked for Harper and Row, Harper and Harper Brothers, it was called. And um, anyway, we used to go on tours of the South when I was very young. It's interesting to me that you grew up in New York City and then now you've come to the South. Yeah. But, I mean, to me, I don't know if Tryon is really, it doesn't feel so Southern to me. It feels like a sleepy little mountain t town. Anywhere? Anywhere. In, in anywhere USA? And it's yeah. got these beautiful views of mountains because in the film, yeah. we used that as the first shot is the view, the mountains. Oh yeah, that's right. So the, I'm crying the... out for Maggie. Right, right. <laughs> Your goat. My goat. So we worked on this film together. Yeah. And thank you for doing that. You were no, really, thank you, you were lovely in the film. Thank you. Um, you were lovely in the film, too. <laughs> but how was our set like compared to like other sets you've been on? Like it was set? smaller. Uh huh. Yeah, there weren't as many crew members. Okay. Um, Did we keep things moving? Yeah, no, were we it wasn't pro actually, enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. sorry. It wasn't. It wasn't any. It wasn't really that much different. You, it seemed like a real movie set. It wasn't like you know here we are pretending to be making a movie. We were making right. a movie. It was a movie set. I, I know it's a stupid. Uh, it's kind of a stupid question, but for those of us who you know live here and we don't work in the bigger markets sometimes we feel a little insecure like maybe we're frauds maybe we don't really know maybe what we're doing really find out what we <laughs> yeah that we but don't know what get, we're doing right but then you get on a set and you start working and you're like it's I, just like real yeah it's like a movie yeah okay so you were you were doing a lot of television and movies in the 80s like the chevy chase movie yeah modern problems modern problems and i did some television but God, I'd have to look at my IMDb page to tell you what it was well, so I did. Were you in LA at the time? Yes, okay. I was in LA at the time. But then you get this, this I think it's a big show, it was a big show, New York Undercover in the early 90s. Yeah, but that's when I moved back to New York. And okay. I did South Beach first. Oh, you know, I did my so-called life before that. Oh, man. I yeah, with was Claire Danes. That was a good show. What was your role Did you that? know I played um, Amber's mother? AJ's oh. mother. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> but, okay, but New York Undercover was kind of a hit. Yeah, well, and it was not kind of a hit. It was a well, hit. I'm, I'm trying to be <laughs> <Yes>. modest here. <laughs> I'm not modest. <laughs> It was a hit. It wasn't my fault. Okay. It was a hit. So that it was it was it was well received. And so um, what's so suddenly you're like very visible because you're the star of some popular TV show. Yes. Um, how did that affect your career? Was that like did you feel like I've made it? I've got a hit show, or were you like I never ever thought I've made it. I've got to hit anything because when you're an actor, you know very well, as you well know. <laughs> that you could be riding high and then suddenly, you know, nothing. So I was happy to have this show mm -hmm. and be on it. And what was great about it was that I always worked in the studio in my office or in one of the mm. jail cells mm -hmm. as a lieutenant and I never had to go out in the freezing cold winter <laughs> or the hot, <laughs> hot summer. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and then I did Third Watch mm -hmm. and then Rescue Me and then the soap opera thing for a while and yeah, 